Hey everyone, I thought I'd just finish up the curation station by just showing you a really quick and easy way to curate resources without having to go through Wakelet. So in order to do that, I'm using the Edge browser. You know how I love the new Edge browser with the green and blue swirly E. Uh, this browser to me is one of the most innovative browsers they've been coming across. Congratulations to Microsoft. But if you go into the Edge browser, first thing I'd recommend is that you want to sync your browser. So for example, I have synced my browser to my Pine Valley credentials. So just like you sync, you know, when you sign into Teams or sign into other things, you can sign into this browser and just make sure you synchronize it again, use your Pine Valley. And that way, if you use your phone, you can get the Edge browser for your phone. If you use a different computer at home, you can sync the browser to the same account and all of your goodies will come with it. Now let's talk about how to curate really quickly using the Edge browser. In the kind of top bar here in the Edge browser, you should have this icon that has a little kind of like square and a plus. If I click that, if you hover your mouse on it, it says collections, but if you open it, it says collections right at the top and you can start collections of all kinds of resources. So for example, I've created a Office 365 information group of resources. And I only have one link in here, but say I want to add more resources to that. Well, I found this page from Microsoft or from AliceKeeler.com. Alice Keeler, if you don't know it, she was a math teacher for a long time. Now she's pretty much an edgy celebrity, which is a good thing. She does a lot of uh, books, blogs, all kinds of things, but she was a really big Google person. And now she's actually dipped her toe into the Microsoft uh, line of things. And so she has a lot of posts and things that have to do with uh, Microsoft. And you can see she's got a whole video series on using Microsoft uh, Teams, Microsoft Remote. So lots of goodies here. So I want to recommend her resource or I want to just save this site. So when I go to my collections, I open it up, I go to the collection that I want. Again, there I could have tons of different collections, but I'm just going to click on the Office 365 resource. And all I need to do is click this Add Current Page and it's going to drop this Alice Keeler page right where I want it. And so then I can come back later on and add a resource to notice. I can also add a little sticky note here if I want to in my resources. So it's Alice Keeler rocks and just check that. So I can add little notes again, not, not the, best use of a note, but I can move that note around a little bit, but I can make little notes to myself and uh, I can even send it out uh, these collections to Excel. I can send it to Word. I can send it to Pinterest. I don't know why Pinterest is linked here, but anyways, uh, there you have it. So again, if you want a super quick way to start creating collections, uh, there it is. I love uh, the possibilities here of uh, creating collections in the Edge browser. So I hope this was a fun and different way to create collections.